Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on how to enroll for access to eTax BC to request a tax verification letter. If you already have access to eTax BC, please view the Tax Verification Letter Request using eTax BC video tutorial. You must enroll for access to eTax BC before you can request a tax verification letter. To enroll, go to the eTax BC homepage at www.gov.bc.ca forward slash eTax BC. Click on Enroll Now. On the User Type Selection screen, there are two options to choose from Access an Existing Account or Create a New Enrollment. We'll begin with Example A, Access an Existing Account, where I'll show you how to enroll for eTax BC by accessing an existing account registered with the Ministry, for example, a Provincial Sales Tax Account or a Motor Fuel Tax Account. Afterwards, in Example B, Create a New Enrollment, I'll show you how to enroll for eTax BC if you don't have existing accounts registered with the Ministry. On the User Type screen, select access an existing account. Then click Next to proceed. The next step is account verification. Select your account type from the drop-down menu. In this example, let's assume you have a provincial sales tax account registered with the Ministry of Finance. If this were the case, you would select provincial sales tax in the drop-down menu. If you don't have an account listed on the drop-down menu, Please refer to Example B described later in this tutorial. Note the Previous button on the right. Use it to go back to the previous screen if you need to change or update information previously entered. After selecting your account type, click Next. Now you need to enter your PST account number and your nine-digit federal business number, or your BN9 number. Your BN9 number is the number that you use when filing with the Canada Revenue Agency. On this screen, you must choose one of the three options to validate your account. In this example, we'll select Tax Collectible on Sales, Line B, from a recent PST return to validate the account. Enter the required information in the box that appears below the validation option chosen. In the screen that appears, create your username and password and provide your personal details. Remember to make note of the username and password for future reference. When you complete entering the required information, click Submit on the bottom right. It's time for Example B, where I'll show you how to enroll for eTax BC if you don't have existing accounts already registered with the Ministry. On the User Type Selection screen, select Create a New Enrollment. Click Next. On the Enrollment Verification screen, enter your nine-digit federal business number, your BN9 number. This is the number that you use when filing with the Canada Revenue Agency. Next, select Tax Verification Letter as the reason for enrollment. On the Ownership screen, select the option that best describes your type of organization from the drop-down menu. Depending on the type of ownership you select, a subtype box will open from a drop-down menu. If none of the subtypes in the list matches the description of your organization, select None of these. If you're a corporation, enter your incorporation details. And if your incorporation province is BC, you need to enter nine characters in the box marked Incorporation Number. The first two characters will always be BC. If you're a partnership, you need to list at least two of the partner's names. These could be organizations or individuals. You also need to attach a copy of your partnership agreement. If you don't have a copy, 
you can use a copy of your federal T5013 partnership return. If you're a sole proprietor, enter your date of birth and driver's license or BCID number. On this screen, there are two sections, a contact information section and a certification section. Enter the required information in the contact section. In the certification section, enter your name, title position, the date, then click Yes to certify the information entered is complete and correct. Next, enter the location of business address details. If the business location address is different from your mailing address, select Yes under My Mailing Address is Different Than My Location Address. More boxes will appear where you can enter your mailing address. On the next screen that appears, create your username and password and provide your personal details. Remember to make note of the username and password for future reference. When you've completed all the required information, click Submit at the bottom right. We've now demonstrated both examples of how to enroll for an eTax BC account. The remaining steps are the same for both enrollment situations. A confirmation displays stating your request for eTax BC enrollment has been submitted for processing. Once your request has been processed, you'll receive an email confirming your eTax BC enrollment is complete. You must receive the eTax BC enrollment confirmation email before you can apply for a tax verification letter. Here's a sample of what the eTax BC enrollment confirmation email looks like. Now that you have successfully enrolled in eTax BC, you can log on using your username and password. Please see the Tax Verification Letter Request Using eTax BC video tutorial. Additional resources are available to support you with your application for a tax verification letter.